being around Jake, you're like you're laughing. That's just what it was. It, was, it goes hand in hand. You, you're with Jake, you're smmiling, you're laughing. He was always upbeat. Like it was just, yeah. And I just still can't comprehend um, the, the fact that, that he's gone. Yeah. I'm Lucas Webb, second year player at the Western Bulldogs. And from my experiences, I know that it's always better out than in. Jake was the kid that was always so switched on, you know. I remember him, he was so particular in the way that he used to tell stories. Seven o'clock, ten past seven, I'd get on the bus. If he was sitting there, like, bang, I'd sit next to him. If I was sitting there, bang, it's next to me. There were so many good memories and he'd always be like, oh, what's going on, how's Melbourne, you know. Just sort of that connection, you know, we're from the same part. We, we grew up together. Just sort of that, you know, that trust you have with a person. Australia Day 2015, had a, a gathering in my house. There's probably about 30 or 40 people over. Jake came over to me, sort of um, put his hand out, you know, did our usual handshake that we usually do, and he said, oh, I've got to go, I've got to run, I've got to work in the morning, so I'll, I'll speak to you later. It was, it was a really good day. I loved it. Like, it was, um, it was a great day. And I'm, I'm sure Jake really like, loved it as well. Like I'm, I'm, I'm very sure that he enjoyed um, his last day, yeah. After that, it's pretty blurry, but it's just the way the policeman sort of articulated his words. It was like, when I heard what he'd said, you know, that Jake had taken his life, I just, um, immediately broke down. No one had any idea that he was struggling. Not one person, like his closest friends, like family, had no idea, like he was one of the, the happiest people, you know. Because I wasn't aware of it, it wouldn't have changed the way I would have responded or any of our mates would have responded if he had to come up and said, you know, hey, I'm struggling a bit, I need some help, like I'm, you know, no one would have batted an eyelid to, you know, give their arm and their leg to help him out. I've, I'm definitely a different person in the way that I appreciate the way everyone else feels. And also, I have a great appreciation for people that are struggling that do speak out. When I first told the story, I had a fair few people, which was great, come up to me at the footy club, you know, trainers to players, come up to me and say, you know, like, I, I've read about your story, sorry to hear about your mate, like, I think it's a great thing that you're doing. Part of the reason why I did it, because it, it just sparks that conversation, that initial conversation that can lead anywhere, really. Everyone should be aware that the, of the services that are out there, you know, whether it's an app or like online services like Beyond Blue, you know, people with mental illnesses need help. And the only way that they can get help is to tell at least one person that they're feeling that way. I think you probably, we probably should change the way we articulate the sort of, how I sort of question something that we shouldn't take for granted, that connection that you can initially have with some person by, you know, shaking their hand and looking them in the eye and asking them how they actually are.